What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of R3 TV. And today is a new day. And today, look what's happening. Look what's happening. Look what's happening. The motor's coming out. So everything, I really didn't take this out. Like this is lazy. I just don't feel like taking out the, anyways. So motor, everything is disconnected on the motor. Everything is ready to come out. Um, got my engine hoist. I haven't used this in a long time. Uh, everything, the cables, everything, just going over everything, going over everything, making sure everything is disconnected. And it is. Um, so this is about to come out. And I'm about to take out the ABS as well. So uh, enough talking. That's too much talking already. It's time to get to work, straight to work right now, right now, right now, right now. All right, guys, the motor is finally out. It's a little bit hard when you're doing it by yourself, but I've learned to do stuff by myself since I got no friends. Just kidding, I got friends. But um, yeah, so wow. With this motor out, I can see how much stuff I should have done like when I had the motor out the first time because this engine bay looks horrible. Like none of that is painted. Like it's just bad. So I'm going to get to this now. I'm going to start taking out ABS. Um, so I guess this is the engine pool uh, ABS part two. I think I did a part one. So pretty much let me go over it real quick because I'm trying to go quick. All right, this is going to come out. So you have all your lines that run here. This is the main thing that's coming out here, which are... Sorry, the camera is kind of dark. It's the angle. So basically all the lines that here, there's one, two, three, four lines. One, two, three, four lines that run here on your ABS against your back wall to this proportion valve here. Right there. Yeah, I'm sorry. Let me get a better angle. Here, which is running back along the, the wall right here. This is why it's hard to do it in the car because those four lines here which run up straight into your master cylinder, um, brake master cylinder here. Two of them go there and then the other ones go down here. Actually, I think all four of them. Yeah, all four of them go to this right here. So what I'm doing is taking all this off. The two here are gonna go to my 4040. And then this is going to be gone. So one brake line is going to run from this hole, which is the passenger side brake line. is going to run along the wall straight to the 4040. The other one's going to come out somewhere here, right here. It's going to come out here and go straight into the 4040. And that's really it. And I think I have to flare one of the, uh, the lines here for it to connect back or something. I'll see when I get there, but that's the, the, the concept of it. 
basically all this can come out and you're just running one direct line to here one direct line from 4040 to there and you can get rid of all this crap so yeah let me get to pulling all of this stuff out this should be this should be fun i think there's brakes in here still so yeah i might get brakes fluid everywhere but of course you're going to need your flare wrenches um to get these off which are tens 10 millimeter flare wrench so you're going to take all these off uh, i'm going to cut all this so anything with an orange plug like this you don't need it anymore you can pull it all out cut it out you know what i changed my mind i am going to record it why because i can everybody else is doing it i might fast forward it though because i don't want to run out of space on my phone if i don't have a official camera because i'm not a big youtuber yet i can't afford a big camera you know well i can because i got a job but i like to use my youtube money for youtube So you know this is uh this is probably not gonna be that 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 hard. <laughs> I'm trying to go fast to make it look easy because it is. I think I've never done this before. This is what self-education is about. You don't know how to do something, you look it up. Because if you haven't done it, somebody else has had, probably has done it. And if nobody else has done it, you're the first one to do it, so you got to figure it out. Then everyone's going to follow you. Right now, I'm following somebody else because somebody else did. And I'm done paying people to do anything for me. Not saying that people aren't good because there's lots of people that work on my car that have worked on this car. Well, I can say there's one person that's worked on this car that I've been satisfied with and that does a great job. And that's my turn and Carlos to me. Shout out to him. Um, everybody else, bleh. take offense. Yeah. So I do it myself. I'm not the best, but at least I know if I break it or it messes up, it's because I did it. Not because I paid somebody some money and they screwed me over. So you want to do it right or get it done. Do it yourself. All right, that is my speech for today. Now let's uh, make me make this go fast. I'm done talking. Okay, so after you take out your four brake lines here to get this off, there are one. Two, and then one in the back three 12 millimeter bolts actually instead of taking um, this off right here there's a 14 millimeter bolt that you can take off because that's hard to get to there's a 14 millimeter bolt back here um, that you can take off the other one that I was saying is back here right here this 10 you take off but for the one going to the front there's a 14 you can take off to make it easier but wait there's more well, there's also another 10 in the back here this one right back here once this is screwed unscrewed right here should just lift up like this just connect all the wires better already so I got the ugly module out from there I got the ABS module there um, then just got to find where all these lines route to 
mainly they're going to be just 10 millimeter brackets holding it against the firewall under here so just pull all those out and all the lines should come out as well all right so after you get this out i got there's this going to be a hard if, the, if you're doing this first of all doing this with the motor in the car it's probably going to be a headache because yeah um but it can be done if you have patience so there's a 10 down there in that corner and of course the ones along the back wall once you get those loose take off the two here that go to the master cylinder and then take off all the lines down here on this eight shaped uh proportioning valve here okay now on to the important part putting the 4040 prop valve in so usually it'll come with the bracket um on integras this is mounted on the passenger side so make sure you do not put this in upside down so this one doesn't have it stamped on there for some reason but it'll say 40 40 40 40 right here so to know which side is which of course you have your two brake lines in the back that say rear on it but you have your two holes here um if it has the bracket on it the bracket faces towards the passenger side and if it doesn't have the bracket bracket a way to know which is up is this black little rubber piece that goes on top and then the torques the little the hex torque screws here they point downwards so that is how they it's put in and this upper left one goes to the front of the mass and cylinder so upper left upper left here to there the lower left on the 4040 goes to the back right here and then the lower left goes to the passenger side which is the one we pulled from the junkyard and then the upper right goes right into the hole here for the driver side so oh wait this one to the front this one to the back this one to the passenger and this one to the driver okay so on to the lines this is where i probably i'm doing it my own way uh just because it makes sense and it's the only way that i think to do it so i had to buy a double flaring toolkit so the flare is if you don't know this is a flare so when you put that on there it can't you know go any further it can't come off and you can screw it in so this is the line that I took out here. Um, so I need, I just pointed out the two that go to the master cylinder. So originally I think these two here went to the master cylinder. So basically I need one that goes from the master cylinder to the 4040. So what I'm gonna do, I don't have any tube cutters so I think I need to buy some. I'm gonna buy some tube cutters, cut this off from my old my old line just cut it off and then take uh you know any one of these little uh, uh brake line nuts here put it on the other end of it and screw it into the master cylinder so if that makes sense it's like i'm not making sense all right so this i'm going to cut the tube to say this one i want to cut this tube right here um, flare it, flare this tube, put a nut on it and flare it, screw this side into the, the master cylinder, screw the other side into the 4040 prop valve. And I can kind of bend these lines however I need to without kinking them. Okay, okay guys, it's the next day, well, night. Um, uh, what am I doing right now? I don't even know what I'm doing right now. It's late. Um... Oh, okay. Yeah, so I'm putting the pass. This is the line I got from the uh, the junkyard. 
Um, okay, so I'm not discouraging anybody from, um, from doing this with the motor in the car, but good luck if you do it with the motor in the car. I believe it can be done. Like just looking at it, you have to take out the, you know, all this crap, but all this is gone anyway. But usually if you're doing this, um, like you're doing ABS delete, more than likely you've already deleted all this other crap that's back here. So, uh, but anyway, um, yeah, so this line is here. It's, uh, there's a little screw down there that I'm trying to line it up with. You got to kind of rebend the line as much as you can, like to get it to fit in the car. Um, again, this is from a, uh, a LX, I believe. Yeah, LX, this is the EX. I don't think the body is really that much different, but of course the line is a little tough to, to fit in here. So got to get the line in here and then get it to where this side fits up um, right to this, which it will like that. And then the passenger, the driver's side one is super easy. It just goes to this top one here. Like I said before, and screw that in. Um, and I'm going to take, I think I already explained it, but I'm just gonna take some other, uh, other brake line that's down here and cut it and use it to do the runs from, from here to here. So, uh, I'm, I'm not gonna show it. I just wanna get it done, um, but you know where it goes and you know you have to bend the line and let me get it done. Okay, so just to be sure, when you put it in the passenger side, start from the brake line itself. Uh, let me see. See there, I have my stainless steel brake line going up to the little piece right there. Hook it in on that side first so you can make sure everything is in the right position. And then, from the inside of the car, in the engine bay, go ahead and, so I screwed that down. And now I can kind of move and bend this however I need to, because I know it's the main thing is getting it um, on that side um, there first. And then you can bend this however you need to, which is a lot easier now that now that I put that side in there and then line all these up and. Okay, I got the line cut. I got my flaring tool. It is a, uh, I'm using a 3 16 um, little adapter. So you put the line in, you put the, sorry, I'm not using my tripod. Uh, so you put the black piece inside of the tube, try to clean it out as much as you can, like so. So you put um, the that adapter in like that. Then you screw this part onto there. You can look up a video how to flare. Uh, I'm not gonna explain it, I'm just going over it. You flare it like that, take out the adapter piece and then put this part back into the, the line and it should flare it pretty good. So I'm gonna do that for the two lines here. Um, so this one uses two of the smaller ones. You'll notice, you'll see the difference. These are the smaller ones that go in the front here and down there. The smaller one here, but a bigger one goes on the back one. And you'll see you'll see that some of these uh little nuts are bigger and smaller. Just cut one off that's bigger for the back piece there, and you should finish it up. And as you can see, I have a nice flare here. So now when this comes down, it completely stops. And this will be my little line that I made. So I made this line from the line that I took out of here. So you kind of look, whatever one kind of bent the right way. This one, I found it. It's going to bend like this and then go to the top part right there. And the other one is right there. And that's my lines. 
All right, guys, so this is not the prettiest, and I might redo it, but, so this one's not, this line here is going to be shortened, but this line is pretty much how it's going to be, so it's going from there to here, this one is going from here to the driver's side, this one is the passenger side, and this one I haven't um, flared yet, but... This is the bigger piece I was talking about, which goes in that back part. And then to the top part here. So this is pretty much what it will, hold on. This is pretty much the final product. So all this is out. And all I have is this. And again, it'll look much cleaner once this line is six and shorter. I can rebend that, but these are pretty much how they're gonna be. Um, and yeah, that's ABS. Completely deleted and the line's done. This video's kind of all over the place, but um, that's uh, pretty much it. On a scale of one to 10, with the motor out of the car, I would say this was super easy maybe a four um and it's my first time doing it maybe not even that it's super simple you take out the lines find the lines for this side recut cut them and make you know lines that go there now with this in the car uh i'll probably give it about out of 10 i'll probably give it a seven or eight out of 10 only because of the space that you're gonna need um, so if you do it with the end car, I suggest you first take out everything that you can. To, of course, like the ABS uh, module, uh, that goes there and the pump that goes down there, your vacuum box, go ahead and delete all that stuff. And then you can easily reach behind here and get back. So the, the reason why I say it would, it would be hard because this line here with the passenger line would be pretty hard to run all the way to snake it with all the stuff in the car, but it could definitely be done. Um, but yeah, I'd say that's a complete video to show you how to do it. Um, of course, ask, ask questions in the comments and I can answer whatever I didn't show here. But um, so this is the first full video on YouTube with ABS delete on a CB7 Accord. I'm sure to say it's the same on a CD5 or similar year um so yeah i'm gonna finish cleaning up the engine bay uh get it painted and that'll be another video i'm probably not gonna make a video of it i'm just gonna do it because i'm on a time crunch and i want to get this done um also got to upgrade the fuel lines i'm gonna get um put in my and fittings my dash an fittings and my return line all that all that jazz so yeah all right guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm trying to come with the most content that I can on this car. Um, it keeps me busy. It's a lot to do. Uh, like I said before, the car is you know, kind of ugly. It needs a lot of work, but I'm going to get there. It's a fun project. Uh, I've had it for forever, so I'm going to get it done. All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.